Everybody always talks about the characters they love, but not the characters they hate. So I went through my entire VNDB and picked out the worst heroine and or female main character from each game that was applicable and ranked them here. Now note as we are focusing on who is worse rather than who is best, the tier that we'll start from is the amazing tier and we'll go up from there. That means the first one I'm going to talk about is the best of the worst and the last one will be the worst of the worst. Enough deliberating, let's just get right to it. Miraculously, Aoi steps in the room with two other key heroines and comes out on top. I love you and me and her in general and I most certainly love Aoi, almost as much as I love Miyuki, but I would only jump off a cliff for Miyuki. Sorry, Aoi. I'd probably rank Aoi high A tier in a tier list where I was ranking heroines I liked, so she is most certainly the best of the worst. I excluded Ryo from my decision on the worst character from Clanad, as she doesn't really have a route, so then it is only Fuko. But I still really liked Fuko's story in Clanad, so she is most deserving of second. Last of the amazing tier, we have Shizuru from Rewrite. Shizuru's route and character are most definitely my least favorite from Rewrite, but she is still overall a really good character for me. That mixed in with my partial bias for the voice actor leaves us with her being at the end of the amazing tier. Kimika from Wonderful Every Day can go from being a complete badass to completely insane depending on the chapter of the story. That's not saying much, as you could probably say that sentence to describe every Wonderful Day character, but I digress. Her character remains interesting and and despite being my least favorite, I still liked her quite a bit. Asa from If My Heart Had Wings. Now this might be the first shocker since I ragged on Agaha's route pretty hard in my If My Heart Had Wings YouTube video, but Agaha's character is more interesting than Asa's in my opinion, so unfortunately she sits on the bottom of If My Heart Had Wings' characters for me. But still, I could definitely not rank her below good. Luca from Steins Gate is an interesting character because I don't know how to explain why a guy is on here without spoiling anything. But nonetheless, he deserves this spot. He's a sweet and caring character that goes out of his way to accommodate his friends, but he's a guy. Horihimi from A Sky Full of Stars. This one was a hard one because having only done the common route, all of the characters are pretty equal to me. I think it has to be Orihime at the moment though, as I'm least interested about her character in this point in time. Things may change when I finish the game though, and you'll definitely know because I'll definitely be making a video on it. Komari from Little Busters would not even be on here, but her voice actress has such a high voice that it is annoying to listen to for long periods of time. No offense to the voice actress, of course. Otherwise, her route was pretty good, and is it just me, or am I just now noticing how big key characters' eyes are? Itsumi from Ninki Seiyu How to Make a Pop Voice Actress is good. Her route may have felt the weakest, but she had the most realistic traits, and was pretty good in other heroine routes. I like her red eyes. The chin is a bit sharp for my taste, but I'll take it. But to be honest, it was hard to pick my least favorite because I like them all pretty well. Kamome from Summer Pockets was the heroine route I did last because I was least interested in her. Her route ends up being okay, but exactly because of that, and because she isn't in the true route at all, she ends up being the most forgettable. This one may very well be influenced by Higadashi Sotsu. Since Higadashi Sotsu, I haven't even faced Higadashi, and don't want to think about the When They Cry series in general. I'm only now coming around to thinking about doing Umi Neko, but the scar in my heart has been left. With all that being said, I still think I would have picked Satoko, as she is the least interesting character from Higadashi's main character cast, and while still being closer to good than not, I don't feel overly attached to her character. Grace from Killer Love isn't the most exceptional character, as she is not developed enough to really have an impact on me, but she doesn't fall into any particular trope and ends up being a caring girlfriend for the main protagonist, so in the end, she felt perfectly at home in the meh tier. And speaking of meh, meh ooh, t from ReZero, starting life in a new world, the false royal election candidate, that's a mouthful. Since there are no heroin routes, I limited myself to the six princesses from ReZero, and I didn't want to pick the new character because it would seem like I am biased towards the normal cast of ReZero, but she really left me no choice. The characters in her faction are interesting, but she is not. Alcana's Vika was such missed potential. I didn't actually think she was the fourth heroine at first. I thought it was going to be Madoka, justice for Madoka, but it's Vika. And when Vika's not just there, you are in her route, which has the least interesting development between the four routes. Oh well. Nana from Mo Era is in the middle of meh because that's the only thing I can say about her. Miki is such a weird character for Love Love. Like, she especially 
especially just doesn't fit in with the second part of the game in Alternative, which is especially true considering her route in the first part is just for comedy. Besides that, her characterisms become annoying, her hair is defying Einstein's understanding of physics, and she is a lolly. Tamao is a tomboyish punk girl from Hello Lady that just doesn't really do it for me. Having her route being forced early on in a visual novel with characters I really wanted to play did not help. Overall, pretty meh. Koharu scarred me. Senran Manka is a good visual novel, and I enjoyed reading it, but it was my first visual novel with incest, which I am not and will not be into, despite what you may think after watching my Ninki Seiyu video. She's cute, but not as a heroine. For those of you who thought I would have picked Reina, I thought about it, but in the end, it had to be Koharu. My roommates heard you moan from the kitchen, Koharu. They probably don't have any respect for me anymore. Lillian is a bait character who the game sort of dangles ahead of you, but she's basically just used to prop up the romance of the main heroine of the visual novel. Why do you gotta do me like this, Sepia Tears? This is why our tears are sepia colored, goddammit. Dise, or what I like to call her, Rise, was not a particularly interesting character in a not particularly interesting visual novel, known as Princess Even Gile. I like the ribbon, but it doesn't really redeem your blandness. Dise, my girl, personality, have you heard of it? This is basically just me saying which Data Live character I like the least. The game is Data Live Dine Utopia, by the way. But yeah, it's already got me. Debate how wrong I am in the comments because Kurumi is the best girl and I won't budge an inch from that. ID from Lucid9 is a quiet character that overall doesn't have much to do with the plot. Why is she even in this visual novel? Sure, she'll be getting a route when they finish that second part to Lucid9 they've been working on for about five years, but current ID has nothing to bring to the table. Go playing in some sandbox and come back when you want to be loved. Kazuki is another quiet character. Quiet characters aren't interesting, at least not to me. Beyond quiet, she doesn't speak more than like five lines. She is lucky that she is in Chaos Child because only in that game could she be given a batshit insane route that was actually interesting. But her character is not interesting. Yui is a bland character. Find love or die trines, other characters have at least some kind of trope to them. Yes, technically she is the childhood friend character, but that never has any meaning in this visual novel and she just ends up being boring. Unfortunately, moving on to pretty bad, we have Miu from My Cat Girl Thinks She Runs the Place. This visual novel is just the cat girl form of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid almost to a T. Maybe they added this neighbor character to be different, but she never does anything and is irrelevant to the overall plot. Sayaka is hard to talk about. Due to the kind of game Danganronpa 1 and the franchise is, almost anything I can say is a spoiler. Even saying it could be a spoiler could be a spoiler in of itself. So let's just say she sucks and leave it at that. Ayumu is a high energy type of girl and those don't typically mesh well with me. Couple that with the fact that she is in an extremely mediocre visual novel and you end up in pretty bad. Nekopar isn't the most interesting game out there, but some of its later volumes end up being not half bad. However, the first Nekopara focuses on Chocola and Vanilla, the most uninteresting characters from Nekopara, but Chocola is as plain as it can get. Ayase's character did practically nothing for Chaos Head except be confusing as shit and show Takumi what it means to be in the Chaos franchise. I hate confusing types and types that are overly poetic for no reason, and Ayase is both. Akane from the second Danganronpa was the most useless character character in the entire game. That's all I have to say. Otome is a childhood friend character, but probably the most uninteresting one I've seen. Technically, she is less bland than Yui, but she ends up being insufferable at some points in school days and is quite blandly designed. You don't deserve Makoto even if he is a piece of shit. The best way I can describe Kaguda from Love Kami Divinity Stage is that she reminds me of the Pokemon Slowpoke. Your character type should not remind me of the Pokemon Slowpoke. The third Danganronpa brings Mew, the most infuriating character to exist in any Danganronpa game. If you know, you know. I'll leave it at that. There are two things that'll never be understood in this universe. Time travel theory and Rin. Whilst you can definitely piece together the route if you think about it, I just can't stand her roundabout character. A non-small amount of people seem to like her character, but I can't bring myself to lie to you guys. I hate her. I love Katawa Shoujo, but I hate her. The top three, and they are all lollies. Fantastic. So let's start with Makina from The Fruit of Grisaya. I do not like Makina. She is a tomboyish, annoying lolly that talks too much. Her route was a slog to get through. Her backstory is interesting, but due to her character that we're presented with in the common route, I couldn't bring myself to ever like Makina. I don't remember when, but since forever, I've hated Natsuki. I think this hatred is from when I played DDLC and mods in 2017, when I hated lolly and tsundere types without even knowing what those two words meant yet. However, since then, I have come to like some lolly and tsundere characters. But I think the big thing is the combination. When you 
have a tsundere lolly, you just have an annoying kid. The reason I believe my hatred to be unreasonable is that you don't really get a lot of time with the characters in Doki Doki Literature Club, but my heart was set and she was the worst heroine for me until December, where I met Rika. This character is infuriating. She's manipulative, selfish, and just annoying in general. I realize that in Euphoria the situation is quite desperate. I realize that she is written to be hated. But they win. I hated everything to do with her. Even in her route she's a terrible human being. Rika wins because she is the worst of the worst. The cream of the crap, if you will. If you like this character, let me know in the comments. I'll send help. Seriously, don't be afraid to reach out. So normally, we just end things there. But let's examine my preferences. The highest proportion of lollies were in the amazing amazing tier and the god awful tier at 6 out of 7 heroines. I find this to be in general how I feel about lollies. They are either great in some way or the complete worst character. Though note that these are all my worst characters anyways and there's a high proportion of lollies in general. I mean seriously, lolly, lolly, one-eyed lolly, pigtails lolly, vampire lolly, princess lolly, kind of lolly, natsuki-esque lolly, cat lolly, third pink haired lolly in a row lolly, tomboyish lolly, natsuki lolly, worst lolly. So don't watch my lolly video and tell everyone I'm a lolly con. English visual novels don't have a character above meh, which means I have yet to play an English visual novel where all routes or main female characters were good. I feel this is the same for quite a few people, but it's only to be expected when the English visual novel scene can't bear a candle to the Japanese one in audience, experience, and publishing. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'd love to hear more English voice acting though. Lucid9 has English voice acting for the first three days and that was actually my first and only time hearing English voice acting. 11 heroines or female characters have some shade of brown hair. I feel like this is consistent with my tastes because I very much prefer colorful hair. There's actually a surprising amount of pink hair here which is supposedly one of my favorite hair colors on characters but most of the pink hair comes from the lollies. For the most part my disliked heroines and most liked heroines have something in common. I have no particular preference. Pretty much every type of heroine can be found in both lists. I've yet to name all of my favorite heroines, but maybe one day I'll do it in the future. To be honest, that's pretty much all I can observe. I was thinking of averaging some of the traits and characteristics of the characters, but unfortunately not all visual novels give that information, and thus on VNDB some things will be missing. Let me know in the comments if you notice something about my least favorite heroines and female characters, or just tell me to actually jump off a cliff and die for liking Miyuki more than Aoi. My bad. See you in two days.